Hey guys, this is Jeremy from Production Den. Today I'm going to be covering how I record bass in FL Studio using the Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5 plugin. So let's jump in. So my workflow for bass is pretty simple. I have a very simple audio interface. I have the second channel set up all the time to receive uh, instruments. So I have a quarter inch cable that's plugged in there. I press in the instrument button which gives a little bit of boost in the gain since it's such a low signal for those instruments. And then I adjust the gain on that second channel just to make sure that it's coming in okay. So then I go inside of FL Studio for the project. And before I start recording anything in a project, I press F10 to bring up the settings window and I go under project and I actually select a data folder for the project. So in this case, it's on my scratch drive songs and the song is called Reason For It All. I hit OK and it'll ask me if it wants to save the current project in this folder. I say yes. So what that means is once I start recording, every one of those audio files will always end up in that same folder. And that helps me just keep things organized. So to get my bass channel set up, I'll press F9 to bring up the um, mixer window. I go to a blank insert track uh, on the mixer and I will select the drop down menu over here select input to where the bass is plugged in so now this track is armed and if I tap on the bass strings you'll see that it's actually coming in now the signals coming in um, and then what I do is I bring in the guitar rig 5 plugin so I load that up on the channel and I select the bass settings and I usually pick either clean bass or DI bass. So we'll just pick clean bass for this one. And then I will play the bass and mess with the, um, the gain on it just so that I'm getting a good usable signal that's not too loud, not too crazy um, for everything. And I'll adjust the tone however I need to do that. And once I have the settings dialed in, before I start recording, I'll actually bring up the tuner and I'll go through the process of doing a quick tune on the bass to make sure that everything is ready to go. And once that's done, I actually like to work in sections. So I will right click on this button down here and this will bring up that folder that I'm saving everything into and then I name the section that I'm getting ready to do. So if I'm getting ready to record a bridge section, I would type in bass, bridge, and then save that. And that will arm that track for recording. I would set up so it's a couple of measures before the bridge kicks in and then I would just press R on my keyboard to start recording. And sometimes I'll do a practice run through just to make sure that I have the part figured out before I actually record it. And then I'll start recording when I press the R button. If I need to, I can go through and do multiple takes of it. So I'll mute out a take on that and then I might just start that process over again and create another track until I get a good take for that section. And then I just continue to work through each section. So chorus three or chorus two, verse two, chorus one, all the different parts and pieces until I've put together everything that I need to make up the bass parts uh, for this song. So hopefully it was helpful for you guys to be able to see the workflow that I use to record bass in FL Studio using the Native Instruments Guitar Rig 5 plugin. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the comment section below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next round.